Hi, very good evening students. Welcome to video classes. I hope you all are fine. Right, all of you stay home, stay safe, learn well. Okay. So, students, in previous class, we learnt about living and non-living things. Right. Students, today in this class, I am going to teach you parts of a plant. Okay. So, now let us learn different parts of a plant and their functions by diagram. Okay. Dear students, all of you see here in this picture. Okay. So, this is plant. Right. Okay. So, now I am going to show you different parts of a plant. Okay. So, each part of the plant has its own work to do. All these parts work together to keep the plant alive. Okay. So, there are two main parts of plant. One is shoot part or a shoot system of the plant and the other is root part or a root system of the plant. So, students now coming to the root part of a plant. Okay, all of you see here, this is root part of a plant. The part of the plant that grows under the soil is called root part. Okay, so different plants have different types of roots. Okay, and uh, the main function of this root, roots hold the plant firmly to the soil and support the stem above and plants need water and nutrients from the soil to grow and uh, these roots suck up water from the ground okay they also absorb nutrients from the soil that the plant needs to grow and stay alive okay so Roots even store food for the plants such as carrot, radish and beetroot to use in the future. Now, root part is ova, right? Okay, so next important part of a plant is shoot part of a plant. So, the part of plant that grows above the soil. Okay, so uh, this is soil, right? Okay, root grows below the soil, above the soil, shoot grows. Okay, so stem, branches, okay, leaves, flowers, fruits, all are part of shoot. Okay, so all of you see here, stem, leaf, fruit, flower, okay. Or all part of shoot. Okay. Students, all of you see here this part. Okay. So, this part is stem part of a plant. Okay. So, the main part of the shoot is the stem. Okay. So, it make the plant stand upright. And the stem carries water and nutrients from the roots up to the rest of the plants okay so branches leaves flowers and fruits grown on stem so students all of you see here this leaves branches fruit flowers or grows on this stem only right okay so this stem also carries the food made by the leaves to all parts of a plant okay and uh, the next main part of a plant is leaves okay so the leaves are responsible for making food for the whole plant to eat okay so the leaves uses sunlight water and carbon dioxide to make food so these flowers are known as the reproductive products of plants okay so they are mostly responsible for producing fruits 
okay and uh, this fruits are the products of reproduction in plants okay so the most essential components from which reproduction starts that is in the seed okay this seed is present in the fruit therefore they act as a protective layer for seeds okay so students this is all about parts of a plant and their functions okay students now we are going to now preparation of food in plants okay so dear students food is essential for us to live right most of the food we eat comes from plants plants themselves need food to live okay so where do plants get their food from green plants make their own food okay so they are called producers okay it is the leaves that make food for the plants okay so leaves are green in color right due to the presence of a natural green substance called chlorophyll okay so this chlorophyll helps plants to make their food so this leaves prepare food for a plant so they are called as a kitchen of a plant or a food factory of a plant okay so now let us understand the process by which leaves make food so the leaves use carbon dioxide okay and uh, water and minerals to make food okay so the chlorophyll in the leaves traps the energy from sunlight okay so the leaves then use this energy to convert this carbon dioxide water and minerals into food hence chlorophyll and sunlight are essential for a plant to prepare food okay so during this process oxygen and water vapors release so this process is called as a photosynthesis so students in this class we learnt different parts of a plants and their functions and preparation of food in plants okay so if you have any doubt ask in online session all of you should follow given worksheet thank you students